He's on fire. Fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap. Takes a superb catch. What a win. That's done it. The whole team running over to celebrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Cody. This is Cricket 19, and we have got another fixture in the Sponsors League or Sponsors Cup. DSC Fearless versus Grey Nichols. But before we get into fixture number 32, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. About 78% of you are not subscribed to my channel. So do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified as soon as I upload. Also, if you can, and only if you can, no this is not mandatory but if you can i'll very much appreciate it hit that join button right next to subscribe to become a member if you don't if you don't see the join button there's a link in the description to become a member as well thank you to everyone who has become a member so far i say everyone it's really just one guy tommy phillips thank you so much you're my first and you know what they say about your first okay i'm not gonna go any further with that joke i think you know what i'm trying to say let's get into game number 32 <laughs> Alrighty then Game number 32, so you've got only four more fixtures left. Now, this is a very important game. DSC Fearless 11 and Grey Nichols both have a chance to make it through to the next round, which is the final. If they win this, whichever team wins this, they'll be tied on points with New Balance, who's in second place. So one of these teams will win and improve their chances of going through to the final. The other will be knocked out. This is a very important game. Winner gets to stay in the tournament. Loser is knocked out. Who's it going to be? Let me know in the comments down below. Asman Khwaja, the captain of DSC. Kane Williamson, the captain of Grey Nix. Grey Nix have won the toss. And Kane Williamson will choose to bowl first. All right, so he's put Usman Khwaja's men, the DSC Fearless 11 boys, he's put them in to bat first. He's confident in his bowling ability to wrap this up quickly. Not given up too many runs. And uh, here we go. Halsey and Usman Khwaja to open the batting for DSC. Shine Shah Freedy to bowl the first over. He's gone full. There's a fielder, and I think that's the end of Alex Hales. Yes, it is. That's a brilliant take by Chris Wokes. That was Chris Wokes, right? I think so. Shaheen Shah Freedy strikes the very first delivery is bold. That's the end of Alex Hales, a very good batsman. The intention is clear from DSC though. They're going all out. They want to get as many runs as possible. They don't just want the two points. They want to get that net run rate up high as well. Colin Monroe makes his way out to the middle now. With that beautiful DSC bat. And uh, Shaheen Shafridi is looking pumped. He's steaming in for the second delivery. He's got a wicket already. And I think he's just got another one. No, he has not. That was not in line. Again, the keeper not really collecting the ball. They almost took two runs, but good thing is they didn't. Oh, that's another brilliant Yorker from Shaheen Shah. He's on fire, mate. He's steaming in and he's just shooting them oh look at the height difference between Kane Williamson and Shaheen Shah Kane Williamson is not a short man by the way that's just how tall Shaheen is because if you look at the wicket keeper he's at the same height as Kane Williamson and he's got him now he's got him definitely now Shaheen Shah is on fire your batsmen are terrified another in swing in Yorker he's been taking lessons from Wakar Yunus I see because he's smashing them in Wow, that's the end of Usman Khwaja. A very good batsman, by the way. He's been destroying bowlers throughout this tournament. Mushfiq Rahim, he's not been given too many chances in this um, league, but he get, finally gets a chance here. That's a very good over so far from Shaheen Shah Freedy. Two wickets and only one run given. That's a good shot from Mushfiq Rahim, though, over cover. And onto the rope for four runs. Oh, he's nicked it. Oh, what a catch. Who is that? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's Overton. But whoever that is, that is such a great catch. Who is that? I'm not entirely sure. Ah, no, no, actually, that's uh, Nichols. That's Nichols. Nichols sponsored by Nichols. 
takes a lovely catch. Shaheen Shah Freedy with wicket number three. Are you kidding me? What an over that turning that spin. That's really thrown a clog into uh, DSC's machine. A geese are about both the teams. I mean, the intentions are very clear from the very first delivery. I mean, Shane Shafri, the all he did was bowl Yorker, so that's attacking bowling right there from Shaheen and then attacking bat batting from the batsman as well. So both the teams not only want to win this, they want to win it with a huge net, net run rate so they can get the upper hand on new balance. And so far, uh, Gray Nichols is very successful. Kaiz Orabada now bowling to Dwayne Bravo. And he's got him. He's got him. He has got him. Oh, my goodness. That's another wicket. Wicket number four. Dwayne Bravo is gone. Kagis Orabada gets him. That was, again, an in-swing in Yorker. That's what Shaheen's been doing. And now Rabada continues it. Hits it on the side of the blade. The moment he hit that, I knew that was going to be out. Brilliant delivery, easy catch for the skipper himself. And that's the end of DJ Bravo. Going for a golden one. Roddy then, this is their last wicket. Nick Maddinson is whom they've sent out. This is their last wicket, this is it. If they get this wicket, that's the end of their innings. There'll be another low. We had 15 runs before. Oh my goodness, six runs. Six bloody runs. They're definitely gonna review that because that is the final wicket and they have reviews in hand, so why not use them? Six runs. Gray Nichols really wants to win this because pretty much every delivery has been a Yorker. And DSC batsmen have no clue what to do with that. The bowlers have been lethal. Look at that. That's a, ooh, that might not be out. He might be saved right there. I'm not entirely sure, though. With the naked eye and the amount of late swing it got, it looked like that was going to go into the middle stump, but it might just be outside of off the impact. Is it? Not entirely sure. Only one way to find out. Oh no, that's hit the back pad. I thought that hit that's hit the front pad. That's hit the back pad. So he, he's fine actually. He's uh, yeah, he's fine. It's gonna be out. At worst, it's gonna be umpire's call, which is out. So that's out. I, I, for some reason, thought that was the front pad it's hit, but it's hit the back pad, and it's definitely out. Going on to hit the middle stump, like I said, so I was right. I should not question myself. I've been questioning myself so much, and I'm always, well, not always, but I've proven to be right more so than not. And there it is. There, that's the end. Six runs. Unbelievable. But then again, game number 30, if you guys have seen game number 30, you know what happened there. If you haven't, watch that right now because I'm about to spoil it. Game number 30. Here's the spoiler. 15 runs scored by Kookaburra. No, not by Kookaburra, by Adidas. Kookaburra comes out to bat. You'd think they'd win it easily. 15 runs, nothing, right? Nope. They lost the game. Adidas defended 15 runs, so anything's possible. Gulbadi Naib will be opening the bowling for... <laughs> DSC defending just six runs and 30 deliveries. Yep. Oh, inside edge. Uh, DSC got him. No, he has not. No, he has not. I was like, has he got him? That would have been very interesting if he had. Kind of wish he had, actually. <laughs> Here we go, delivery number two. Yep. He smashed it right between the two fielders, and that's gone for four. So already, they require just three runs of 28 deliveries. A very decent shot from uh, Craig 
Brathwaite from the Caribbean. And uh, imagine them defending this. Well, I can't really. Oh, he's nicked it. It's not carried. Oh, my. <laughs> you know, it's not been a bad start from Gulbadin Naib, considering how, well, considering he's only defending six runs. There we go. Oh, that's the end of the game. That's it. That's how easy that was. <laughs> that is a huge victory right there for Gray Nichols. A humongous victory. And that's definitely going to give them a boost, a massive boost in the net run rate department. And that should help them against the race. The race there in against uh, New Balance. There it is. Victory for Grey Nichols. They've won it by five wickets in the very first over. But this is just stupid. Craig Braithwaite gets the man of the match. Not Rabada, not Shaheen Shafridi, but Braithwaite. Now that's just dumb. It should have been Shaheen Shafridi or even Rabada. Any of those two would have done. Shaheen Shah because obviously he got three wickets. All right, here are the highest wicket takers. I find Shah is in there as well. Keep an eye on that boy. Scouts, anyone sign me? No, no, all right. There are the highest run scorers, and uh, yeah, Grey Nicks have now got a very good chance of making it through to the next round. We'll take a look at the um, the table in a second. Uh, but there are the highest run getters so far in this league. There are 36 games total. This was game number 32, so there are only four games left, but there it is. New Balance has such a great net run rate, even after that huge victory, uh, Grey Nichols are still behind them. But now they're equal on points. And uh, both of them have got one game left. And I think that game is between those two, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, I'm not, actually, let me check the schedule. I just got hyped for no reason. No, it's against Adidas. And... Uh, Basically, it's not against each other, so it doesn't matter all that much. But yeah, next match for those two new balance and Grey Nicks is a must win. Let me know which one of those two is going to make it to the next round. I think it's going to be new balance. But you let me know who do you think it's going to be. As always, if you enjoyed this video, do drop a like. If you're new, do subscribe. 78% of you watch my videos but do not subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Also, if you can, join and become a member of this channel you do that by hitting the join button right next to the subscribe button if you cannot find the join button there's a link in the description to become a member as well i'll very much appreciate it if you do but if you don't that's fine you're still more than welcome on this channel thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far especially tommy phillips you're my first wink wink anyways and uh yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video until then have a nice